Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Cherian Kurala, basically a business mentor and a coach. Uh, been uh, a mentor and a coach for the last 10 years, working very, very closely with entrepreneurs and very, very closely as a coach, uh, executive coach with senior leaders across uh, many corporates, many multinational companies. Prior to which I had about 30 years of corporate experience in a variety of uh, leadership roles, right from you know, working the way up the ladder. Uh, and uh, as I've been you know, interacting more and more with leaders, uh, it keeps reinforcing in my mind that the topic of today's uh, talk is about leadership is not a title, it's a mindset. Right? And I think somewhere along the line, I think a lot of leaders have got caught up in that rat race of, you know, going up the corporate ladder, getting this title, getting that title, you know, being called, getting a vice president tag, getting a director tag, getting a senior director tag, getting a senior vice president tag. While they continue to do what they are doing or they're good at, you know, it could be a functional competence, it could be a technical competence, it could be a particular departmental head that they are, you know, heading. But in the process of, you know, running after the title, uh, the importance tends to come around, stem around that, that I am so and so, right? not who I am, what my title is, what becomes more important, right? And as you start coaching leaders, these leaders, these very, very senior leaders, right? You would expect them to be pretty evolved in their self-awareness about themselves, about their strengths, about where they need to work on and uh, their leadership styles, their leadership behaviors, their leadership competencies. And quite often, you know, as we get through the coaching journey, uh, we realize that, you know, as we take a 360 feedback from 15, 20 people or maybe around that kind of number, the kind of feedback others give about them is quite an eye opener to them because they possibly have not done this before ever in, an, uh, in a structured way. And the kind of strengths that they realize about themselves, which they've not been leveraging, I think is quite an eye opener and you know, aha moment for them. At the same time, right, there are a lot of areas for fine tuning, right? It could be around the way they deal with the team members, the way they communicate, the way they don't communicate, uh, mm -hmm. the way they uh, you know, deal with cross-functional colleagues and peers, mm -hmm. the uh, kind of uh, credibility and executive presence that they carry in the organization. These are things which are often neglected, right? They are in the organization by virtue of the fact that they are subject matter experts in their domain. And they also grow because they are subject matter experts in the domain and the organization needs that uh, competence. Right? But when the leadership competencies, leadership behaviors, leadership styles uh, are sort of overlooked and the impact it has on the team, the impact it has in terms of the uh, uh, respect the team has for those leaders, uh, are those leaders really role models to their team members, right? Are they able to go beyond where they've reached, right? At the top of the ladder, it's going to get narrower and they often don't realize why they're losing out in terms of the next level of growth. And uh, I, I, this is where I want to talk about the fact that leadership is a mindset, right? Uh, what kind of mindset do you come to the organization? When you come to office or you're working with the team, what's your mindset? Are you empathetic? Are you authentic? Do you communicate honestly? Right? Or are you thinking something, saying something? Right? Are you trying to be diplomatic so that you don't want to upset somebody rather than calling a spade a spade and facing the consequences? Right? Uh, so how well you treat your team, how well you treat your colleagues, how well you work with your seniors, right? How, how adaptable you are, right? So we talk about IQ, we talk about EQ, we talk about spiritual quotient SQ. Now there's a new thing called adaptability quotient AQ. Uh, when you put all these cues together, whether it is, you know, uh, intelligence, emotional quotient, spiritual quotient, adaptability quotient, is when you get a leadership quotient, right? How solid are you as a leader? You know, are you somebody who really inspires people? Are you really somebody who sort of uh, is able to influence stakeholders? Are you able to think strategically long term? Or are you only good operationally? And are you able to develop your team members to such a level that, you know, beyond a point, 
they can manage without you. Right? I, I use the word dispensable leadership. Right? Have you reached a stage where you've built up enough leaders within your team so that whether you are there or not, whether you're on leave for two weeks, whether you're not well for one month, the show in your department can run. Right? That's the highly delegative state of affairs. Right? And only very, very secure leaders uh, who have a mindset of security, have a mindset of, you know, I, I, this business is not about me, it's about my team, right? The inclusiveness that comes in. Uh, they are the leaders that really are able to take the organization, their department and their team to the next level, right? So it's no longer to do with title. I mean, you can be whatever title you want, but at the end of the day, if you don't have these leadership behaviors, styles and competencies and actually demonstrate that and be authentic about it, I think uh, leadership uh, loses its value. Uh, team does not really value the individual. Right? They may suck up to him for their promotions, but they won't really value them you know, behind closed doors. And I think these are things that leaders should really be more uh, sensitive about that, you know, uh, my competence is not just about my subject matter. It's about me as a people leader, right? People at the heart of every organization and the leaders that miss out that and treat people like, uh, you know, people to be used to get the work done. Uh, I don't think that's a very sustainable kind of a leadership. And those are the leaders who finally do not grow to the, their potential. And they feel frustrated that they're losing out because of some of the other reasons. And they blame the environment for losing out rather than looking inward at the mirror. So I think uh, leadership is always about uh, self-reflecting on what am I doing right? What am I not doing right? And what can I do differently? And how can I become a role model? So I think to sum it up, I would once again say, you know, Leadership is no longer about title. Uh, it's all about mindset. It's all about behavior. It's all about style. It's all about authenticity. Right? Thank you. Right. Uh, uh, happy to clarify anything more that anybody would want to. Uh, please do reach out to me at uh, 9886055358. I'm always available as a mentor, coach, or a sounding board to anybody who wants to just bounce off their thoughts on you no know, leadership. Uh, because what I've been talking about is really practical stuff and not any theoretical game. This is really stuff which has been picked up through the experiences by myself as well as working with you know hundreds of leaders across the spectrum. Thanks so much. Bye. Take care.